After several people have asked me about bucket hydroponics, I've decided to show everyone how to build a simple hydroponic controller as well as a growing container. I was at a local store called Menards. You could tell from the uh, names on the buckets. I found that the green buckets as well as black buckets do very good at blocking sunlight from coming in through the containers and creating algae. So that was a fantastic start. For the lids, I chose uh, the color black and heat is not really a concern. This is going to be an indoor growing system. And what I wanted to do was create enough of a water supply with nutrients that I could support a plant growing even close to maturity if I were to be on, oh, for example, a two-week vacation. So what I did was I ordered a float valve off of Amazon. It is a Carrick, K-E-R-I-C-K, float valve, and two drill bits. And there really isn't much to it. What I did was I have a 7 16th drill bit that I used to drill through the side of this bucket. I inserted the Carrick valve. There are several Carrick valves available. This one has a quarter inch barbed fitting on the outside of the bucket. Now, when I say quarter inch, uh, I do want to point out that there are two different types of uh, quarter inch line. Uh, one is internal diameter, one is external diameter. What is coming off here accepts a quarter inch internal diameter. So I got a short section of tubing that would fit right over that barb and an inline adapter that converts it over to quarter inch external drip line like you find in several of the uh, large box stores. In addition, I ordered some uh, quarter-inch top hat grommets. So what essentially this all looks like when you put it together is the Carrick valve comes through the side of the bucket and I chose this particular height because I am working backwards from the height beneath a 3.75 inch net pot that I'll be using. So the hose barb comes out the tubing goes over the hose barb. It pops onto the inline barbed connector, which reduces down to the smaller tubing. I used the other drill bit, which is 10 millimeters, and inserted the quarter inch top hat grommet and pushed the quarter inch external diameter tubing through. You can see down in the bottom of the bucket that there's nothing special there. All I did was uh, push the tube right through the grommet and it's watertight so there's really no uh, need to worry about that. I have used this particular type connection for a while now. And I also, if I spin around, maybe you can get a good look at this, maybe not, but I'm going to put a uh, hole through the bottom of the bucket and run it from the five gallon bucket over to this uh, smaller uh, bucket and the tubing is going to go from the base to the base and it's just going to connect through those push fittings and those quarter inch top hat grommets. So th the intention is, is that I'm going to take a black um, lid for the bucket set it on top of the bucket that has the float valve in it, take the other five gallon bucket and set it on top. Now that's going to allow me to fill that top bucket with five gallons of nutrient water and it will be up, up to the float valve in the lower bucket. So that allows me to have a five gallon reservoir it will also use gravity to feed downwards, uh, so that's an added plus. So once it comes out of the base of that bucket, it flows over to the other bucket until the level in the smaller bucket reaches the level in the bottom bucket on the right-hand side, and it stays at that level. 
So as long as I have uh, nutrient water in that five gallon bucket, which is on top, the level in the bottom two buckets will remain the same over the entire period. The five gallon will give me uh, quite a bit of time between refills. And I do have the ability to daisy chain the smaller buckets if I want to add a second or a third one together. So this uh, whole system was based off what I saw online. It was called a uh, Texas controller. And this is just my version that I put together just to show how simple the whole process can be. The smaller bucket can be used with a non-circulating type uh, hydroponic setup. It can be used with a wicking setup. It can be used with a deep water culture setup. Very versatile and very easy.